Catch RCN Sports Talk now, anywhere, anytime. After spring training, everyone's getting ready to go and start playing some games that really matter. Um, I think we all want to get off to a good start, so you know that's the f first and foremost uh, goal. But you know, I think we're going to win a lot of games around here, and it's going to be an exciting season. What are some of the things? Did you get any instruction from uh, the, the Phillies as far as things to work on this year, or anything Brendan just talked to you about so far? Yeah, I think uh, you know, for me, it's just it's just about getting behind the plate and catching every day, and, and you know, just tightening up and being more consistent as far as. Um, Call, game calling goes and, and, and you know receiving and blocking and then as far as offense just continue what I was doing in, in double A and, and keep it going. The spring was great. I had a great time. Um, you know starting out it's, it's sometimes a little you know you, you just want to keep your head down and, and uh, you don't really know anybody and so you're, you're, you're just slowly starting to develop relationships and, and get to know that the teammates that you'll have and um, you know I, I feel like I've gotten to know some guys pretty well and so, you know, we're, we're excited to continue um, to get to know each other and continue to play together. And, um, you know, I, I, think, I think especially the off-the-field stuff, the more we get to know each other and spend time with each other, I think that just helps with chemistry on the field. Yeah, spring training was phenomenal. It was great to get down to clear water and get going. Uh, after the last season and everything that happened, it was nice to, to start fresh, start new, and, and really enjoy it. How was that adjustment to first base? It seemed, seemed pretty smooth. Uh, I don't think an adjustment to a new position is, is ever smooth. So, we've, you know, we've hit some bumps and stuff, and a lot of it's a learning curve and understanding different things over there and, you know, getting reads off the bat. But, um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed it. There's been a lot of good people around me that have helped me, and, and I'm excited to continue. Do you say you're comfortable at this point heading in the season? or? or uh, we're we're making uh, strides in the right direction. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think I've played the position long enough to be like, yeah, I feel comfortable. Any, I, can, I can take on anything. Um, um, you know, that's definitely oh, nap, mentally nap, how I'm going to feel here shortly. Spring training went well. Um, you know, it was very, very cool to be over on the big league side of things for the first time and experience that. And then I, um, after that, after I got sent down, everything went smooth and excited for the season to get going. What's the last week been like? <laughs> Travel around in different cities and everything? Have you had time to catch your breath? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's been all right, you know. Uh, I feel like I landed at a good spot, you know. I, I feel fortunate to be in this organization where I know there'll be some opportunity up there. Um, and in the meantime, you know, I uh, heard great things about uh, this town and, and uh, have, you know, their love for, for the Iron Pigs and, and excited to get out there and, and play some baseball. I remember watching you play basketball at Princeton. Did you get a chance yeah. to go to Philly much when you were at Princeton? Yeah, you know, we came and played Penn and, you know, played Temple, um, you know, a couple games in the Palestra. So, um, yeah, been to Philly a few times to play some basketball. Okay. Well, Nate, what, what are you looking to do? I know, you know, try to just get familiar with the organization and they want to see what you can do here and, and work your way back up. Yeah, um, you know, obviously, you know, you'd like to be in the big leagues, but, uh, you know, I'm here now. I'm excited to be here and, and excited to uh, to go to work and play some baseball, help help these young guys out and, and win some games. And, and then as far as, you know, getting back up there, that'll all happen when, when it needs to. And, uh, you know, not really worried about that right now. It was awesome. Uh, for spring training with the Phillies, um, you know, I felt like I, I made some strides, uh, especially working with some of the uh, pitching guys. Um, other than that, I mean, it was just uh, spring training, and it was, it was good. Uh, I think Tuesday uh, we'll go Appel and Buchanan, probably three innings apiece. We'll probably, and then uh, pitch some guys out of the pen that probably need, you know, need an inning. Uh, but I think. Uh, right now, you know, I mean, Appel and Buchanan both need to throw and, and get a little bit of length as well. So, and then we'll kick right off uh, Thompson, you know, going opening night, opening day, I should say, at 2 o'clock, you know, barring 21 degree weather up in, snow. you know, maybe some snow, you know. So, you know, and then, uh, and then obviously, and then we'll go uh, Morgan, um, and then Eflin, Appel, and Buchanan. So, accordingly, so hopefully, uh, Barring weather issues or anything like that, we get off, you know, get off and running, and, and, and you know, guys don't have to wait ten days in between starts, you know, with the bad weather and everything like that. Because you know, for the most part, I think we're all stretched out from a pitching standpoint. So, it's pretty exciting to have that group of five guys that you know, on any given day, anybody can. Well, certainly it's great, uh, you know, tough decisions coming out of spring training, but I can honestly tell you we haven't had those kind of decisions uh, the last three years that I've, uh, I've been coming here as manager. And, and 
Uh, the decisions the last three years have, have, you know, have been a little bit easier. Uh, you know, and I think it speaks volumes about our organization, about the decisions that we have to make. Obviously, you know, the talent, uh, the, you know, we've closed the gap in the, in the system in our organization. I think from that standpoint, understanding that, uh, you know, the young talent is, is, is starting to scratch the surface. And I think from the trades and from everyone, uh, you know, that we've, we've made, uh, you know, we've uh, solidified our, you know, our minor leagues and, and we've solidified at, at the upper, upper levels. I mean, I don't believe, uh, you know, without without kicking it on too thick or you know getting too you know overzealous or anything like that. I think you know you you guys can see the you know the start rotation uh, you know of, of Thompson and, and Morgan, Eflin, Appel, Buchanan. You know you, you can see right where we stand right right off the get go. You know a lot of young talented. Uh, you know not a lot of experience at the AAA level, but at the same time, you know some of our top uh, top arms in the organization. I, you know, I know for a fact I, you know, I haven't made my way north, you know, that armed, you know, with a with a starting rotation or a bullpen uh, that that's, you know, got a lot of talent as well. How impressed were you with some of the young players in camp? Well, as, you know, I talked earlier, uh, you know, how how excited I was to get to spring training, yeah. and you know, and it started at the organizational meetings, uh, listening to what guys had to say about these young, uh, young players and. Uh, you know who we acquired in trades and guys we haven't seen and some of the younger players that you know that I yeah, that I haven't seen pitch, uh, the guys that have pitched in Lakewood, the guys that were in Clearwater are now starting to you know got to Reading and you know you start hearing the names, you know now you want to put names to faces and you want to see uh, just what everyone else is talking about. So I you know for me, from a personal standpoint, I was excited to get to spring training and and it didn't let me down. You know what I, I, w I was more impressed probably coming out saying wow you know what. You know, sometimes, you know, you tend to say when, you know, someone talks about how great that movie is and then you go see that movie, you know, and it just didn't pan out, you know. Well, I can tell you this movie was a lot better, you know, than what I, what I saw uh, and, and what I expected. Uh.